So before we get into today's video, I just want to give a quick PSA. If you or anyone you know is struggling with drug-related issues, please don't be afraid to reach out for help. I've lost a lot of people to addiction issues in my life, and unfortunately, I lost someone over the weekend to drug-related issues. Once again, it's a scary beast. You know, it's something that can reel you in at any second. You think you beat it, and unfortunately, these old habits creep up and it's a you know it's a terrible thing so like i said if you or anyone you know is dealing with drug related issues please reach out for help we are all in this life together rest easy lynn you will be missed Alrighty, so there was heavy rumors that a PlayStation 5 revision was going to be coming out sometime in 2023. Tom Henderson broke this news, essentially a slim model of the PlayStation 5. And as time went on, everyone was like, well, that's kind of a crock, you know, it doesn't seem like it's happening, but alas, it is happening. Sony announced today on their official blog post, the new PlayStation 5 models coming out this holiday season. And yes, I said models because there's two new models coming out. So we're just going to hop straight into this, man, because there's a lot of stuff to go over. So the new look for the PlayStation 5 console this holiday season, you could see here just right off the jump. It definitely looks like you know, a little bit different. You know, obviously it's a little bit slimmer on top than it was. The disc drive still kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but I think the digital edition, it actually looks pretty clean. You know, this system I have right here, like this is a monster. Like this is an absolute monstrosity. So anything to sort of, you know, cut down on the size of the system, like I'm all for that. The smaller PlayStation 5 design comes with one terabyte of storage for PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition. New model provides an option to add Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive to the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. So this is that fabled detachable drive for the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, because of course, that system does not take any disc-based medium straight out of the box. That's why it was $100 cheaper than the PlayStation 5. Honestly, I kind of like this idea, you know? This, this is kind of the best of both worlds for me, personally, as a consumer, because you still get that physical medium that people do enjoy, but you still get the convenience of a, of a digital model as well. So you're getting the best of both worlds. It's a smaller design system as well. You know, I think I think it's options are always a good thing. You know, I, if there's options on something, then that's good because you could, you know, cater to all portions of the marketplace. So scrolling right along here, we can get a look at the system. The system actually has a glossy finish on top and a matte finish on the bottom with a little cool stripe going down the side of it there. Honestly, I think it looks a hell of a lot better than the PlayStation 5 does right now. The PlayStation 5 just looks like a big white blob of like nothing. You know, it doesn't look good to me. It's all matte and stuff like that. It's way too big. It's way too heavy which are things that are addressed in this. The new PlayStation 5 has been reduced in volume by more than 30% and by and weight by 18 and 24% compared to the previous models. So I'm guessing that 18 is for the physical edition and 24% is for the digital edition. Look, anything is better than the weight of this thing. This thing has got away like, 20 pounds or you know probably not that much but it's a heavy boy and I, I i think that's just a bit ridiculous it feels like you're lugging around like a like a old pc when you're bringing this from room to room or something like that so i'm all for downsizing the system and i think the revision itself does look very nice it says that there are four separate cover panels with the top portion in a glossy look while the bottom remains in matte. So we already talked about that. This is going to be nice and shiny. This will be nice in a matte finish, which I like the two-tone stuff. I actually used to have a car, um, the Nimbenzo, where the top was glossy and the bottom was matte just like this. And there was a pinstripe on it. It was gray with a red pinstripe and a matte black finish. So it looked like an NES. That was a fun car. I missed that car. Um, if you purchase the PS5 Digital Edition, you can add the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive for PS5 later, as it will be sold separately for $79.99. So not a bad price. You know, $80? I think that's a little bit cheaper than a lot of people were pegging this. I figured most people expected it to be $100 plus dollars for this thing. Now, I do wish that the disk drive worked with the old PlayStation 5 digital model because I think that would have been a really cool thing, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be the case. So that may be a bit of a disappointment for early adopters of the digital model, but I mean, that's something you kind of should have thought about. I mean, if you purchased the digital one, you obviously purchased it with that in mind. You knew that there wasn't gonna be any physical based medium for this. So this is just adding an option into the new digital model, which, 
I think it's a good looking system, man. I don't really have a need for it or anything like that. They show how the disk drive works here. So you basically pop off one of the portions of the side of the system, and then you input the disk drive into there. It looks like it just clips in, and then you get a white cover to put over it. So it ends up looking just like the PlayStation 5 physical model so that you're essentially assembling this for them like oh you want you want that disc drive well we're sony we're gonna make you pay for it and we're gonna make you assemble it yourself but like i said i i don't hate this like i think this is a cool and neat idea so the new playstation 5 model will be available starting this november in the u.s at local retailers and direct.playstation.com when available it'll continue to roll out globally in the next few months once the inventory of the current playstation 5 model has sold out the new playstation 5 model will be the only one available so they're phasing out this big boy already after three years and they're moving on to this slimmer model i mean it just makes sense when you look at sony they always do different iterations of their consoles with slims and pros and stuff like that you know there was revisions to the play how many revisions was there for the playstation 3 like there was a ton of them so i'm not against this i'm not against any of this however there is a caveat because this is sony so they have to do something to kind of to kind of screw with the consumer a little bit. And here's here's where it happens. So in the US, the PlayStation 5 with the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive will be five hundred dollars, much like it is right now. But the digital edition is moving on up, moving on up to the east side with four fifty now. So I know exactly what you're thinking. Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait a damn minute here. If it was 400 and I bought the $80 disc drive, I'm coming out better than I would if I made the physical. But Sony can't have that. No siree, Bob. So they jacked up the price of the digital edition to $450, making it so if you buy the disc drive with it, it's for it's $530. Now, once again, you don't need the disc drive. You don't need to upgrade to the disk drive. And if you want to do it down the road, you don't have to do it all in one shot. But I find it very interesting that the digital edition that is smaller has less weight to it. And they've decreased the size of it is now going up $50 in price for reasons. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we've been seeing a lot this generation. And Sony themselves, unfortunately, they've been sort of uh, riddled with situations like this. Looking at PlayStation Plus and all of those packages that they have. Oh, they added movies. Bro, I have so many movie streaming services. I have all those movies already. Like, it's not an advantage. This is a video game console that can do other things, but it's primarily a video game console. So I feel like that's going to rub some people the wrong way. But they have a horizontal stand with the new PlayStation. 5 model and a new vertical stand and i mean here's the new thing here there they have console covers coming as well look at this stand look i want everyone to look at this stand this looks like a freaking paper clip like, like what is this is the stupid <laughs> it looks like a paper clip like this system must be must be you know so much lighter even though we already know like how much lighter it is like to have this little stinky stand here, like, I don't know. That's just so weird to me. I feel like these are going to break at an alarming rate. Obviously, they've done some R&D testing with them. But still, it's such a little stinky stand that I, I, I don't get it. But, I mean, I guess if it works, it works. Like, you know, all this stuff. Like, same system in there. And I'll be real with you. This news came out while I was over at my grandparents' house having lunch because my mother's in town. So I haven't seen the internet reaction to this. I haven't seen what people are thinking about this. So I'm going in this with a completely clear mind and a clear conscience. I don't hate it. Like, I, I don't hate it. I hate the price increase for the digital because I think that's silly. But in the same breath, it's like, well, can you sell the detachable drive and the digital for less than the physical? What would be the incentive for that? If they could have made them evenly priced, you know, maybe bump up the uh, PlayStation Digital to 420 Blaze it, and then had the $80 disc drive. So that way, that's $500. You know, that's cool. I, I think that would have been good with people. People would have, you know, of course, you're going to complain about a $20 price increase on something when you're minimizing the size of it and maximizing the efficiency of it. But I don't think people would be nearly potentially as upset as they could potentially be with the price of this but like i said i haven't seen the internet's reaction to it i like it i think it's cool you know it, it's more ergonomical it's a smaller system it looks better and it has now the digital version has that option to have a physical medium on it 
I think it's a win-win for everything. If it wasn't for that $50 price increase, I don't see how people would be upset about this. So, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm not upset about it. I know some people are going to be upset. But I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm someone who likes to dunk on Sony from time to time because I'll dunk on any video game company. But if a company does something right, whether it's Nintendo, Xbox, even Sega once in a while, they do things right, or Sony, I'm going to be positive about it. And I'm pretty positive about this. I, I, I like what's going on with this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Are you happy with this redesign? Do you think it sucks? I think it smells bad. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Once again, if you or anyone you know is struggling with drug-related issues, please reach out to someone. We are all in this life together. We're all going to get through it together. You know, don't be afraid. They're, they get rid of the negative stigmas and all that crap. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys. I lost my train of thought. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.